Hey everyone, here's our math problem for today. Let's say we are given this blue square ABCD and we draw the diagonal BD with a length of 8 units. Then we draw this semicircle where each side coincides with side DC of our blue square. Then we draw this other line segment BE that is tangent to the semicircle at point F. Now we would like to find the length of segment ED and let's call it as X. So find the value of X in this problem. You can pause the video and see if you can find the answer to this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. The only given information here is we have a square and we know the length of the diagonal. So this means that the length of AB, the length of BC, and the length of DC as well as the length of AD are all equal because we have a square. From the two tangent theorem, notice that segment BF and segment BC are both tangents to the yellow semicircle and they meet at a common point B that is external to the semicircle. So from the two tangent theorem, these two line segments are equal in length. But what is the value of side BC? We can use the Pythagorean formula. So consider this right triangle BCD. Let S be the length of the square, and therefore, that is also the measure of the two legs of our right triangle. So we have an isosceles right triangle. We know the length of the hypotenuse that is equal to the diagonal of the square. So using now the formula, we can form S squared plus S squared is equal to 8 squared. Simplifying, 1s squared plus 1s squared is 2s squared, 8 squared is 64. Divide both sides by 2 to get s squared equals 32. And take the square root of both sides. We have s is plus or minus 4 square root of 2. But since s represents the side of our square, we just take the principal square root. So we now know the side length of the blue square. Next, take a look at segment BF and BC again. We know that they are equal. And we already established that BC, which is equal to S, is equal to 4 squared of 2. That means BF is also equal to 4 square root of 2. And so, we now know that from this point up to the point of tangency, the length is 4 square root of 2. Now, since we have a square, all the side lengths of the square are 4 square root of 2. The only thing that we need to know now is to find the length of EF so that we can use the Pythagorean formula using this upper right triangle here. So, let's focus our attention on this part here. Notice again that ED is tangent to the semicircle and EF is also tangent to the same semicircle. And they meet at an external point E. So using the two tangent formula again, we can show that ED and EF are equal in length. But what is the length of ED? We said it's X. So ED is X. EF must also be X because they are equal in length. So we can now use the same variable X to represent the length of side EF. So let's focus now on this right triangle here. This length AB is 4 squared of 2. This hypotenuse EB is the sum of this x and this 4 squared of 2. Since all the sides of a square are equal, then AD is also 4 squared of 2. But AD is composed of two line segments, AE and ED. Therefore, if you want only the length of this leg of this right triangle here, we need to subtract 4 squared of 2 and this x. The length of AE is 4 squared of 2 minus x. We now know the measures of the two legs of this right triangle, and we know the measure of the hypotenuse. We can now use again the same Pythagorean formula to find the value of x. So the square of one leg, which is this leg, plus the square of the other leg, which is this leg, that is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is the sum of this, plus this. That is now this expression. From here, all we have to do is solve the equation. We square first the first term. So applying the square of a binomial, this first term here is equal to the square of the first term, which is 4 squared, 16 times the square of the square root of 2, which is 2. So 16 times 2 is 32. Minus twice the product of 4 square root of 2 times x, which is 
8x squared of 2 plus the square of x, which is this x squared. So this first three terms here is the square of our first leg. Then the square of this is 32. The square of 4 squared of 2 is again 32 plus twice the product of 4 squared of 2 times x which is 8x squared of 2 and finally the square of x is x squared. Notice now that this 32 and this 32 will cancel each other out. This x squared and this x squared also will cancel each other out by subtraction. What's left is this minus 8x squared of 2 plus 32 at the left side and this 8x squared of 2 at the right side. Let's write them. Then to simplify, add 8x squared of 2 to both sides of the equation to arrive at this. Then divide both sides by 16 squared of 2 to solve for x. This cancelled out. Squared of 2 divided by squared of 2 is also equal to 1, so that is cancelled out. What's left at the right side is x, and at the left side, 32 divided by 16 is 2. So we have 2 over squared of 2 at the left, x at the right side. Then, let's rationalize the denominator. Multiply both the numerator and the denominator by squared of 2. 2 times squared of 2 is 2 squared of 2. Squared of 2 times squared of 2 is squared of 4, and the squared of 4 is 2, copy x. Then 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So we have a final answer of x equals square root of 2. So we now know that x represents the length of segment ED, and that is what we want to find. And we now know that its value is square root of 2. And therefore, this problem is now solved. So thank you very much. This is Lando Assistant, and that is where the math is. Bye for now.